Todd Muirhead, and this is Jeff Buell from the performance team. And uh, we're going to talk today about uh, Hadoop, which uh, Jeff has done a lot of really cool stuff with lately. Thank you. <laughs> and so I guess I guess a good place to start is, um, you know, what, what what is Hadoop exactly? What what kind of things is it used for? Well, it's used for big data applications, uh, which is a uh, very important uh, application area in data centers uh, around the world now. Uh, a lot of uh, companies just have a lot of data, and we're talking terabytes and uh, even petabytes in some of the uh, larger companies. So, so we've, I mean, companies have had a lot of data for a long time. For a long right? time, they have, but they really haven't had a good way of uh, analyzing it, okay. or at least not an inexpensive way of uh, a analyzing it. You could always, if you spent enough money, you can uh, do something with that data. But if you're not sure what the information content or value of that data is, you're not going to want to spend a lot of money on infrastructure to get out that value. Uh, and Hadoop and the related technologies allow you to access the value of that information uh, much more inexpensively. And that opens up a, uh, a lot of uh, possibilities for uh, investigation. And, and one of the ways that Hadoop does that is it, it's able to scale out across, across relatively inexpensive nodes. That's, that's exactly right. You uh, can put together a, a, a large cluster of the uh, most inexpensive servers, uh, as long as they have enough uh, storage mm -hmm. uh, and enough uh, interconnect bandwidth, uh, and then it scales very well across uh, such a cluster. So for interconnects, do they use just gigabit Ethernet usually, or is it, do they go uh, even bigger than that sometimes? Typically now, gigabit uh, Ethernet is used. We're using uh, 10 gigabit because that's the way the industry uh, will be going, mm -hmm. uh, and we get the maximum performance that way. But uh, gigabit Ethernet will get you uh, pretty close to uh, similar performance. So I guess you know to get around to specifically us and, and VMware and, and, and whatnot. Why 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 are people interested in in virtualizing Hadoop, or why did why did you do the test um, that you did with with Hadoop on on these two? Well, our customers are uh, really interested in virtualizing uh, all of the applications they have in their data center. Mm -hmm. And uh, until recently, most of them didn't have any uh, Hadoop clusters, and now they're looking uh, at it. Uh, and if their uh, data center is already mostly or fully vo virtualized, they don't want to uh, introduce a new physical cluster uh, at this point. So they want to know how well would uh, Hadoop run on a uh, virtualized cluster uh, uh, out of the box. So customers, I mean, part of the reason I did this is because customers kept asking us about it, and we needed to have good answers, right, yes. about, about how it worked. Uh, yes, and uh, we recognize it as an important uh, application area as well. Uh, we're also, uh, besides me, there are many other groups at VMware interested in Hadoop for uh, a variety of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's not necessarily particularly easy to set up, and we think we can uh, uh, help there uh, uh, in, in, in different ways. And uh, But still, to get out that, uh, you need to have the good performance before you, uh, you want to uh, go any farther. So I guess that leads right to the question, what, what was the, what kind of performance have you found in the testing that you've done? Uh, it was surprisingly good. It was, uh, it was uh, I was expecting uh, some overhead with the virtualization layer, you always have uh, some processing to be done by the hypervisor, some CPU uh, uh, latency overhead there. But like uh, quite a few other applications we've looked at, you can actually get better than native performance uh, on Hadoop. And this is true for a, a variety of reasons. Many applications right. have uh, poor SMP scaling so, and better scale out uh, scaling. In the case of Hadoop, one of the big reasons is uh, just partitioning the local storage among several VMs helps to uh, improve the utilization of the uh, storage. Mm -hmm. And Hadoop dealing with so much data, uh, storage is often the bottleneck. And if you can improve the efficiency of uh, storage utilization, that uh, falls right to the bottom line uh, uh, for performance. So with uh, instead of running one large uh, physical OS instance on a server, if you ran uh, two or four virtual machines, you can do a better job of partitioning the storage resources, as well as make better use of Numa architecture of, mm -hmm. the, of the servers. And both of those things uh, uh, help performance. And we've, in some cases, we've seen significantly better than native uh, performance doing that. 
Yeah, it is. It is pretty counter whenever whenever we find these apps that are uh, better than uh, than than physical, and it always leads yeah. us, which is funny. I think it always leads us to end up doing more work, right? Because we because we have to figure out why it's better. Because normally that's it could be indicative there's something configured wrong. And if it was just a uh, couple of percent slower, then I'd be done. And <laughs> right, I right. Move on, but it ends up being faster. Then you've got to go figure out why. Of, uh, justification. <laughs> That's cool. So you've published uh, blog posts um, with these results? Blog posts and a, a white paper on their uh, first go around on a, a small seven node uh, cluster that, that shows these results. And we're looking to push that to uh, larger clusters, more realistic uh, size clusters that our uh, customers are really interested in. Very cool. And so preliminary so rest results there are, are, are consistent. Okay. So so the blog is on Vroom, and there's a link to the white paper. From white paper on from the blog and also you can find it on uh, the tech resources. Okay. The VMware and, and I'll include a link uh, with this video uh, so that people can go direct straight to the to those resources. Yeah. So thanks a lot, Jeff. Well, thank you, Todd. <laughs> thanks, everybody.